Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Hi, my name is James and today I'm going to be reacting to the tiny house makeover that Ryan did on his channel. Oh my god! Oh my god! As always guys, these are my opinions, my own personal opinions. So if I don't like something, don't take it personally, it's just my opinion. And as I always say, there's no rules in interior design, so nothing in this space is going to be wrong, in theory, but it might need to be to what I would have done. So I'm just here to give my reaction and my thoughts to this space. So with that being said, guys, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so my initial thoughts are it's a big improvement from the beauty room makeover. Like there is a consistent style throughout the space and it's a cohesive, more cohesive design than the beauty room, which I mean, thank God because that beauty room is. But this, I personally don't like the wallpaper, but like that's just my personal opinion. Um, there's obviously like a few things that I don't like. I think that mirror that's there, See, I don't know if, see, I know he's built making this for a podcast room. So I don't know if he's planning to film in here because if he's planning to film in here, it makes sense why the mirror is up higher. So then it doesn't like reflect like the light in the mirror. So, and the camera in the mirror, which makes sense. But in that case, then I would have put a picture because I don't like the space that's between the mirror and the chair. Like personally, like there's, yeah, there still is a few things that like don't fit right, like you know, like, oh, but like. <laughs> That's a gorgeous couch, by the way. That um, velvet one there, it's gorgeous. Um, don't like how high up the wall lights are. With the, I don't like where they're positioned with the mirror. Like I would have brought the mirror down a bit lower, and the wall lights, um, a little bit sconces. If you want to get technical, um, down about a few more centimeters, just so like they're more kind of centered with the mirror instead of being like higher than it. Um, see because see then again like I don't know if this is just for podcasts or if it's gonna be filming, like visuals with. Like to go along with the like, audio part of the podcast because if it was I understand why it's up higher but then again go with like a picture or something because personally it just doesn't look like or put a mirror somewhere where it's going to reflect like a plant or a shelving unit or something so like it adds that visual interest but personally and also like I think I don't like that there's two coffee tables see also like the cushions I kind of would have changed it maybe maybe add some more textures in you know because i feel like it's velvet on velvet which i think would have been nice to add some more like you know natural fabrics like maybe like even like a silk would look cool or like something more of a canvas or a cotton kind of or even something furry or like with um fringing or something like just something to add that more like visual interest See, like, okay, <laughs> like the shelving, we have actually them in work, uh, them shelves, they're really nice, they're really versatile. The way they're decorated, or should I say decorated, isn't great, like, they just, mm, they're not styled well, um, the shelves, they're just, it's too sparse. I don't know, maybe, I don't know if he was trying to style them, but like, I mean, I feel like you sh would have. Or you should have if um, you're making this kind of video and also like the coffee area I would have liked to have seen maybe a tray or something or some sort of like other surface to put the mugs in I don't know when I come in here I just I feel like instant happiness which I think is the point of interior design 
Well, I mean, you, it's I, not like the whole like the point of your chair that isn't. To, I mean, it's uh, there's a lot more to interior design than just how like obviously like that's to me. I know when I'm designing a space for a client, how they feel in the space is the most important thing because that's how you kind of build your whole concepts around is how they're to feel, how they want to feel in the space. So obviously, like I, the reason he feels happy in the space is because. Obviously, he's designed it and decorated it and picked out everything himself. Um, and obviously, you very, feel very proud of yourself. Okay, guys, so final thoughts. Love the blue velvet couch. Gorgeous. I love the blue with the gold. I love that kind of industrial vibe that's going on. Gorgeous. Um, don't like the two coffee tables. It doesn't look right in my eyes. Um, don't like the wallpaper. The mirror could, should be down lower. Also, I've not even been a big fan of the mirror, to be honest. Like, I... Um, I think something cooler could have been used or really like I feel like it's kind of a mid-century industrial kind of with a bit of contemporary but then there's also like some more traditional um, aspects to it so I feel like I kind of I mean it's an improvement from the for, like the previous um, transformation which is like that's the most amazing thing to see isn't it like when someone is like kind of getting better with each thing they do which you know is what is that you'd expect um but i can't wait to see the next transformation and seeing like as if it's an improvement to this maybe the next one will be like okay guys that is my opinion on this tiny house makeover um let me know in the comments what you thought of this house makeover do you agree with my points do you not i'd love to know and with that being said guys i really hope you enjoyed please don't forget to hit that subscribe button also hit that little notification bell just notify when i upload i upload every wednesday and saturday and throughout this quarantine i'll be uploading extra videos every week so be sure to hit that bell so you never miss one of them and i'll see you in the next one bye